CNN anchor Chris Cuomo. You might know him for always breaking the news, but if you talk trash to him in the streets, the only thing that might end up breaking is your face. CNN, standing by host Chris Cuomo after a video went viral showing the anchor threatening a heckler. This video was taken during a heated exchange with an unidentified man who called Cuomo Fredo, which Cuomo insists is a racist slur toward Italians. Hey, Italian? I gotta, I gotta it's a f***ing insult to your people. It's an insult to your f***ing people. It's like the N-word for us. Is that, is that a cool f***ing thing? Yeah. You're gonna have a f***ing problem. What? What are you gonna I'll, do about I'll, it? I'll f***ing ruin Let's your shit. Then. I'll f***ing throw you down these stairs like a Pump. Please do. Why, so you can sue? You don't want to sue? Well, why don't you do it? Go ahead, take a swing. You want to call me Fredo? Take a swing. Take a swing. Watch your hands. I'm not going to take a swing. I'll wreck your shit. I'll wreck your shit. Yo, Chris Cuomo doesn't mess around. Now I see why CNN makes people fight in separate boxes. That's just workplace safety. Yeah, Cuomo's like, if I wasn't in this box, I'd smash your face. And look, Cuomo was clearly pissed off because he feels like when this guy called him Fredo, it, it's a negative Italian stereotype, right? Uh, what's funny to me, though, was that his reaction that he chose uh, also seemed like a negative Italian stereotype. <laughs> He's like, what you say? I'll wreck your shit and throw you down these <laughs> stairs, big man. You wanna talk to me? You wanna talk to me? I'll f***ing break you. <laughs> Not all man. So, since this video went viral, <laughs> there's a big conversation now over whether the word Fredo is a slur. Now, some are saying it's a reference to the dumb brother in The Godfather, okay? Uh, because, like, you know, Cuomo has his brother and then he's, like, the dumber one who's in the news and in entertainment. But some are saying it's also an ethnic slur. In fact, Cuomo himself claimed it's like calling an Italian person the N-word. Yeah. So, to find out if that's true, we're joined by Roy Wood Jr., everybody! <laughs> So, Roy, is... is calling an Italian Fredo the same as calling a black person the N-word? <laughs> Roy Wood Jr., everyone. Thank you so much, Roy. <laughs> In other news... In other news, have you ever... Have you ever been to a stranger's house? and seen things in their house that make you go like, wow, I would really get along with this person. Yeah, this story is the complete opposite. House hunters in Michigan, surprised to say the least, when the furnished home they were looking at had KKK paraphernalia on its walls. Rena and Robert Mathis were looking at the charming home on a large wooded lot in Holton when they noticed something disturbing. They didn't know it, but the house belonged to Muskegon police officer Charles Chuck Anderson. It was a full length Confederate flag, so I'm like, I'm not liking this. There's one plaque on the wall. So I walk over to the wall and I read the plaque and it said KKK application. So I was like, I'm done. I say, I want to get out of here right now. Yo, you know what I love about black people? They do not indulge danger. That guy saw a Confederate flag, <laughs> then the clan, and he was like, baby, we're out. <laughs> we are out. We're out of here. We're not staying. We're not staying. The Uber's on the way, even though we drove ourselves. We gotta get out, like in that movie, Scream. Come on, baby. <laughs> also, can, can I just say, I didn't realize that the KKK had application forms. <laughs> I learned something new. I just thought they saw someone on the street saying the N-word, and they were like, you start Monday. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Cause you realize if the KKK had application forms, it means the chances are someone got denied. <laughs> but then it makes you wonder, what reason would the KKK give for denying somebody from joining the organization? This guy's just looking at the application like, well, everything looks great over here. A favorite song in Paris. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I wish they would go to Paris. I agree with that. You're... Oh, wait, hold on. No, it says that's a hip-hop song. I'm sorry, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. <laughs> now, some people are saying that the owner having a Confederate flag and clan memorabilia on his walls doesn't mean that he's a fan of the KKK. <laughs> Maybe he's just a history buff. <laughs> Yeah, and I get that, but, uh, I mean, let's be honest. You don't put things up on your wall if you're not a fan. Like, no one's got a poster of Hurricane Katrina in their living room. That's just not a thing. <laughs> so, for more on this, we're joined once again by Roy Wood Jr., everybody. Roy, help me out here. Um, is having a framed clan application on your wall something a casual history buff might do? <laughs> Roy Wood Jr., everyone. Thank you so much, Roy.